So we're going to look at ways to prove um, triangles similar today. And there's three ways you prove triangles similar. There's angle-angle similarity, side-side-side similarity, and side-angle-side similarity. And it's pretty similar to the way we did it for congruence, but slightly different. So first, let's look at angle-angle. And with angle-angle, you need two pairs of angles congruent. So if you have a triangle here and a triangle here, this angle is congruent to this one, and this one's congruent to this one, that means that these two triangles have to be similar. You just need two sets of angles congruent to each other. All right, side, side, side. For this one, you need three pairs of sides to be in proportion. Notice not congruent to each other, so it's not congruency that we're looking for. We're looking for them to be similar. So there needs to be like a scale factor between all the sides. So if we draw a quick example of that, obviously not to scale, and we make the sides say, you know, something simple, 2, 3, and 4, and then we make the scale factor something simple, like times 2, then this would be 4, 6, and 8. So right there, if you look at each of the sides and you divide them, you do 4 divided by 2 is 2, 6 divided by 3 is 2, and 8 divided by 4 is 2. As long as they're all the same number when you divide them, then it means that these sides are in proportion. All right, side angle side, what we're going to do is kind of combine these things with the congruent angles and the sides in proportion. So with this one, you need two pairs of sides in proportion, and you need the included angle pair to be congruent. So if we draw another similar looking diagram to what we had before, what we can do is we can have uh, three and five, and then six and 10, so those are in proportion, they have a scale factor of 2. And we make the angle in between those two sides, that's the included angle, those are congruent to each other. That is enough to prove that those two triangles are similar. So let's ignore the directions for this because there are, you know, a few other slides that we're just going to skip to the end here. And basically what we want to do is we have A, B, and C, and we want to match them up with these similarity statements. We either angle, angle, side, 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 angle, side, or they could also not necessarily be similar. So let's look at um, A first. And in angle A, what I'm seeing here is we got these right angles. So that's one pair of angles already checked off. Great, awesome. Now, you also know that these vertical angles have to be congruent to each other. So what you're looking at is on both of these we have angle angle so choice a matches up with one angle angle similarity okay let's look at choice two or choice b rather sorry um, with choice b what i'm looking at here again we have the vertical angles that's important the vertical angles are congruent to each other and also we can look at these sides here so we have six ten five twelve and, you know, it's not entirely clear which ones match up with which. Like, maybe the 6 goes with the 10, maybe the 5 goes with the 12. But one thing you can do is try to find one where there is a scale factor that works. So if you look at it here, between 5 and 10, that is times 2 to get from 5 to 10. And if you look at 6 to 12, same idea, times 2. So that means these sides are in proportion. They kind of like crisscross each other, but they're still in proportion. So we have the angle included congruent, and we have the two sides in proportion. That means choice B is side angle side similarity. Now, if you read the directions, you know that we have to create our own set of triangles for number two, which means we didn't use side, 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 but it means this one's got to be not similar. But let's look at why. So one way to match up um, sides that are corresponding with each other is to look at you know the small the medium and the large and with this four is the smallest side of this triangle and four is the smallest side of this triangle interesting they're the exact same number that's going to be important in a second the medium tri or the medium side of this triangle is seven and the medium side of this triangle is five so if you look at it right now um, if we're just trying to compare scale factor and proportion here 4 divided by 4 is 1, which means they're exactly the same. But 
7 divided by 5 is 1.4, which is not 1. So right now, these are not in proportion. So like automatically, we don't even have to worry about comparing 8 to 7. They're already not in proportion. So these are not similar. So goodbye to that. And then finally, we can make one for side, side, side. It's not that hard. There's so many available options here. I'm going to do a um, everybody's favorite 3, 4, 5 right triangle. And then I'm going to use a scale factor of, say, 3 and make a 9, 12, 15 right triangle. And these sides, if you divide them, you either get 3 or you get 1 third. Either way, it's going to be the same number as long as you do the same thing on top and the same thing on the bottom.